Hello and welcome to today's edition of Frightfully Forgotten and we are kicking off the Halloween season with one of three Halloween specials. But to start <laughs> things off, what are we drinking today? Well, perfect beer for the time. Portafoy's Paranoid Porter. Yeah. Portafoy! Back Jeremy, back! <laughs> back yeah! Jeremy! Yeah! Today we're going to bring to you top 10 horror movie masks. You may be thinking that we're going to add in the obvious, right? Uh, Michael Myers, the Jason hockey mask, Leatherface, but no. We're going to leave all of those out because everybody knows how influential the movies are, the masks are. And we wanted to challenge ourselves a bit because if we added those, it'd be half the list. <laughs> The Big Three, <laughs> right? the Silver Shamrock Masks from Halloween 3. The reason this tops the list, yeah, these masks are a little scary to look at, but it's more the fact that the masks themselves kill. Yeah, it's what they do, yeah. right? It's not how they look necessarily. Yeah. The funny thing is, is that they're for kids. They're right, they're for little kids, <laughs> little kids. too. <laughs> which is like, that's I think the most frightening thing about yeah. these masks. Number two on our list, the tourist trap mask. Now this one is pretty scary actually. And there's a couple. And yeah. But they, they all have the same kind of look to them though. Yeah. With the moving jaw. Yeah. yeah. But the mask is actually molds of people's faces, which I think adds that extra level. The voice behind the mask is very creepy too. Right. Soon you'll stop breathing. <laughs> Basically the whole movie is yeah. unsettling and the mask just yeah. kind of puts it yeah. over the edge, right? Mask number three on our list is actually from a couple of movies. It is the Hag Mask, <laughs> which is in 1978's The Comeback, which we covered. Mm -hmm. It's also a very similar mask in the movie Curtains. Yeah. And there's also a variant of that mask, which is the male version, the old man mask, in Terror Train. <laughs> They're all very similar, and we didn't think that they deserved separate spots on the list, right? So we kind of lumped them into one as the old person mask. <laughs> right. When trick-or-treating is me and uh, Mark, Mark Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah, with that. <laughs> that old man mask, and my grandma was flipping through pictures once, and she's like, What's wrong with my face in that picture? It's like, that's, that's a mask, Grandma. That's not you. <laughs> and our number four slot here, Mr. Decker's mask in Nightbreed. This one's pretty, we kind of struggled with this one between this and the collector. Right. They're both different, but they're also both similar. Very too. similar, yeah. They both kind of have like this stretched sort of facial look to Mouth them. Mouth look. Yeah. <laughs> but Mr. Decker's has, you know, he's got the buttons for eyes and almost like a zipper mouth yeah. kind of. Which is kind of the cherry on the cake, right? <laughs> right, you know? yeah. Number five on our list is the Frankenstein mask from The Fun House. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of this mask, and I think it's super scary. Mm -hmm. I think the movie would have been just as good if there was no reveal. Right. And he just wore that mask throughout the whole movie. Yeah. And the it's fact, fucking scary. Exactly. And the, the fact that you know it's a mask and you're always wondering what is yeah. under there. And he's got those right. gloves on too, this kind of, <laughs> yeah. those Frankenstein gloves, his hands. So it's like, oh, okay, well, what's... How come he's hiding his face and his hands? Right. right? What the hell happened yeah, to him? What exactly. is he? Yeah. Knowing that these are carnies yeah. too, right? So yeah. it adds that little bit of extra flair. It's like, what the fuck? These people are even more weird <laughs> and just seeing their normal faces. Brings us to number six on our list. And this one is the My Bloody Valentine, The Miner's Mask. This one is pretty cool, I think. A miner that's doing the killing and he's wearing his fatigues, his yeah. whole facade, right? So it fits the movie perfectly. You hear the breathing through like the kind of vents and everything mm -hmm. and you, you look into like the eyes and you just see like a reflection of yourself. Right. Because it's just like glass or plastic or whatever. I think that is creepy yeah, about it's, it, right? It's pretty cool. Not just the mask, the whole figure. 
Yeah. We see him like from head to toe in that outfit, and then he's got the pickaxe that he's carrying too. It's like, oh man, that whole sight is like pretty unnerving. <laughs> right, yeah. You go to fucking town on your ass. The next mask on our list is Phantom of the Paradise. And it's not really a horror movie per se, right? but it's horror enough and it's cool enough to be put on the list. The fact that we're, of course, shooting from Winnipeg <laughs> um, has a lot to do with that decision too, I Yeah, and gotta mention Phantom of the Paradise. It's nothing like any other Phantom mask. That's right. And then you couple it with his silver teeth too, yeah. right? Yeah. And his voice box thing yeah. on top of it. And it kind of completes the whole thing. Yeah, the black lipstick. And, right, yeah. yeah, and like the, the black eyeshadow around yeah, too. Yeah. And it, it actually is pretty creepy. Yeah. Knowing the full, like once you watch the movie, knowing the full story, yeah. it still gives you the shivers. Yeah, it does. Brings us to number eight on our list. And this one is Alice Sweet Alice. The mask looks kind of innocent. Yeah. But what's going on sort of isn't, right? Right. It's like a lot of evil doings yeah. happening, right? Because it's a, a kind of a lady mask with the blush and the makeup on. And Alice is like coming of age, going through puberty. She's becoming a woman. What's behind the woman face and what's <laughs> really there? It's layered again, yeah. right? The ideas yeah. are layered, yeah. which is, plays perfectly into the yeah. movie because there's so much shit going on. Yeah. So the next one on our list is kind of a tie because it's almost the same mask. And it is the pig head mask from both Motel Hell and Saw. Now I guess Motel Hell is kind of hard because he only wears it for like a minute or a couple of minutes at the end with the chainsaw yeah. back. Ah, right? ah, ah, he's all laughing. And it's very creepy and I think that the Saw kind of took that idea and kind of made it even creepier with the hair. Mm -hmm. And when people think of the saw killer, they always think of like the, yeah, the doll, yeah. right? They don't think of the pig head mask, which I think is a little creepier. With Motel Hell, yeah, it, I think it, it's it works good with the movie because the movie is slash comedy, yeah, and so yeah, yeah, the yeah. pig head kind of works pretty good with it, right? The same with him laughing, yeah. But it's also kind of a little creepy too at the same time, yeah. knowing what they fucking do and everything. Yeah. And he's kind of ah, ah, laughing with <laughs> some fucking pig head. Like, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> these guys are fucking insane. Yeah. And that brings us to number 10 on our list. And this one goes way, way, way back to the silent era. This one is the 1925 Phantom of the Opera mask. And this one isn't even the typical one that we know of today, right? Yeah. There's two. There's the one he wears in the masquerade ball, that skull mask. Right. But he's got that big outfit on, which is fucking pretty impressive and yeah. creepy. And there's the one that he wears just before the reveal, mm -hmm. when he's got that weird looking mask on. And I always thought, even as a kid, that that mask is fucking creepy looking. Right, there's no definition for the mouth. Yeah, the anything. mouth is some weird flap. But the rest has these weird kind of like sad looking eyes. Unsettling. And then that's unsettling enough and then the reveal and then this thing behind it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, holy <laughs> shit, it's like a double whammy. Yeah. A few honorable mentions. Number one for an honorable mention for us has to be the Tommy Jarvis collection here. All those masks <laughs> in this room. Exactly, the ones he created himself. Yeah. Um, they're just awesome. Yeah. There, there just isn't anything else to really say about it. It's like, they're just so cool. And there's no way that a kid his age <laughs> be able to pull that off in real fucking life. I'll tell you yeah, that right now. Exactly. And a kid of, like, how old is he in the, in the fourth one, right? It's, he's like, <laughs> he's like super eight young. or something. Yeah. It's like, yeah, right. The next mask on our honorable mention list didn't make the cut because it's only on screen for like, 10 <laughs> seconds or something like that. It's not that long. Yeah. But it's a pretty creepy mask and that's in Deranged when Ezra Cobb is yeah. winding up that thing yeah. Yeah. and he turns around and he's wearing this kind of like like a, like a face, like yeah, someone's versus. face, very similar to Leatherface, but it, it looks fucking creepy. He's got that sure. wig on and everything. Yeah, and he chases that woman out. <laughs> 
oh. running down the hallway. Oh man, she all hits him with that lantern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and another honorable mention is the uh, Baghead Jason that you didn't think we were going to mention a Friday the 13th, but here we go, right? We both think that Baghead Jason is actually scarier than Hockey Mask Jason. Mm -hmm. I've never been frightened or kind of disturbed by the Hockey Mask thing. Yeah, neither have I. Baghead Jason, with the one eye peering out, <laughs> yeah. it's just so creepy. And a lot of people like to compare that to, of course, the town that dreaded sundown mask. Said we weren't going to mention the Michael Myers masks, but there are two masks we're going to mention from the Halloween series. Of course, there is the mask that Jamie and Michael wear, and that mask is actually kind of creepy, yeah. especially once there's blood splattered on it and they're standing there just holding the the big the knife, knife. Yeah. yeah that's pretty creepy the other one is that weird kind of like grumpy old man type weird mask halloween five right when he's sitting in the car and he's all yeah he's all angry it's like the first time in any of those movies where michael wears a different mask so that's our top 10 horror movie masks that aren't the big slashers, the underrated horror movie masks. Yep. I'm sure you guys have your own opinion and feel free to share it with us in the comments what your favorite horror movie masks are. Till next time, keep drinking. See you next week for Halloween special number two.